This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, January 25th, 2012. The following areas in Canada, the US, and Europe have the highest potential for radiation fallout based on current and forecasted precipitation, jet stream, and water vapor analysis. In Canada, Heavy rain is currently on radar from the Weather Office of Environment Canada in most of BC with a reprieve for the central provinces, but a line of rain extending from east of Toronto up through Quebec City and covering the St. John's Peninsula. Vancouver, Toronto, and St. John's are also under the edge of the jet stream, increasing the potential for fallout in these three cities. In the U.S., Current radar on IntelliCast shows rain on the coastal areas of Washington and Oregon with snow inland moving into Idaho and Montana. A rain-snow mix over the Dakotas is currently moving into Minnesota and Wisconsin in the next 24 hours as well as snow that is currently in New York State moving east. Heavy rain is also over Texas which may move into the southern states as strong storms over the next 48 hours. The jet stream placement will once again put the west coast and east coast as the areas of highest risk. Alaska and Hawaii are currently risk in a low risk category because of the absence of the jet stream. In Europe, Satellite 24 from Satellite Deutschland shows heavy bands of precipitation currently moving through Northern Ireland and the UK but the most extreme fallout areas will be in Norway, Sweden, and Finland for the next 48 hours. There is also mild concern for the southeastern European states as rain is scattered there also. Resources used for today's forecast in addition to those mentioned include NextRad, Next Generation Weather Lab, European Loop from Meteo France, and the meteorological charts of the North Atlantic and Europe through weathercharts.org. With the recent increases of radiation measurements in Japan and ongoing ocean releases, where most of our west coast storms are generated from, it is more important than ever to be vigilant in your avoidance of high-risk times for fallout and incorporate mitigation efforts into your day-to-day -day life. Remember, radiation exposure is cumulative. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for up-to-the-minute news, information, and mitigation tips. It is possible to live a healthy life in spite of this threat. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.